Oh, it's just a yolk. Is that a real egg? <laughs> <laughs> That's an egg yolk. Oh my God. What the fuck is going on right now? Hello my friends, Merle here, and today I am back to my old tricks of veganizing something that you know and love, or at least something that you know. So today is gonna be really, really, really special, and I'm not exaggerating. Today I'm not even a chef. Today I'm like a mad scientist, because you asked for it, I'm giving it to you. Today we're gonna make a vegan runny egg yolk out of Tomatoes. I must have gotten hundreds of requests to do this really cool recipe. There was this like sort of viral video that Insider did at this restaurant called Crossroads Kitchen in West Hollywood in LA. They do this really convincing vegan runny egg. It's got the color, it's got the pop, it's got the ooze. It looks like an egg yolk. I know, I've already tried to recreate an egg. It did not look like this. This is next level. And today I am truly up for the challenge. I wanna give you guys what you wanna see. It might not be easy, but we're doing it. So buckle up buttercups, this is gonna be a wild ride. So the first step is to take a blender basin and you're gonna put it on a food scale, and then you're going to zero out the weight. And then we want 1,000 grams of cold water to be measured out into the blender basin. Oh, 1,026, all right. Let's see how this dance is gonna go. Oh, 1,000, yes. Okay, so now we're gonna add our sodium alginate. Sodium alginate is extracted from a brown seaweed that grows in cold water. It's used in cooking to add to things to add viscosity or to help bind things together. Essentially, it's an emulsifier. Add the sodium alginate to your water and then you're gonna blend that on high speed for 60 seconds or one minute until the sodium alginate is completely dissolved. Wow, that was crazy. So this is completely emulsified into the water and now it's got a totally different consistency. It's not solid, it's not liquid, it's a little somewhere in between, which is what we want because when you think of an egg yolk, it's always somewhere there in the gray area, right? And what we wanna do is pour this into a nice shallow wide bowl. It has the texture of lubricant. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't taste like anything. I'm going to just cover this up, and then now I have this all covered up, I'm gonna go refrigerate this for two hours. You could also just refrigerate it overnight, but I'm gonna go do that, and then we're gonna work on our yolk. I'm gonna core these, and essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna confit these tomatoes. It's a French cooking technique that was originally used to preserve meats, but essentially what we'll be doing is roasting these at a very low temperature over a long time with a lot of oil. We want one and a quarter pounds of these tomatoes. Make sure you have a good mixture of red and yellow and orange in there, because that's gonna determine your color. You want a neutral oil, I'm using canola oil. Should almost cover your tomatoes basically. And then we're gonna add some salt. I'm gonna toss this all together. I'm gonna go ahead and roast these at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 160 degrees Celsius for about an hour and 20 minutes. And then we'll revisit these cuties. Okay, so we have our confit tomatoes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a slotted spoon. We're gonna take these out of here and plop them right into the old blender. So you can just let the oil drip down. Now I'm gonna separate the oil from any of the tomato liquid or water that may have been released during the cooking. Okay, so we wanna keep the oil. So we're gonna blend up these tomatoes at a very high speed until they're completely smooth. Yeah, nice. Okay, well, I just realized that I got a huge, well, not huge, that's dramatic, but I got an oil stain on my shirt and I love the shirt, so I'm taking this off and I'm gonna go clean this and wear something else and wear an apron, so there. And just so you know why I'm not wearing the same clothes. Okay, we're back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tomato puree and we're gonna go ahead and run it through this sieve and I'm gonna just make sure it removes all of the pulp or any skins that are still left in our puree. All right, so I have a nice high-walled skillet here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water and about a quarter cup of minced shallots. I'm gonna put the heat on and let it heat up over medium heat for about five to eight minutes until it starts to steam. Kind of looks like queso. Okay, so now this is good to go. I'm gonna strain this tomato mixture through a fine mesh sieve into the blender and I'm just gonna add one tablespoon back from these strained shallots. We don't want too many shallots because then the shallot flavor will come through too strong. 
and then do what you will with the rest. I'll leave that up to you. All right, beautiful. So we've got our tomato mixture in here. Now we're just gonna add our black salt. The black salt is what's gonna give us that really nice sulfuric, eggy flavor and smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this at a high speed for about 20 seconds. I'm gonna lower this to now a medium speed and I'm gonna slowly add this reserved tomato oil. So basically, I'm gonna slowly stream this in as this is blending over a medium speed. All right, this is completely emulsified. Maybe I've just gotten used to the eggy smell, but it smells pretty good. Now I'm gonna set a medium bowl on my kitchen scale and I'm gonna zero out the weight. Then I'm gonna pour in 250 grams of my yolk mixture. This is calcium lactate. The calcium lactate is what is going to react to the sodium alginate added earlier. Now I'm gonna whisk that together until it's completely incorporated. All right, so with calcium lactate and sodium alginate, you can essentially make a yolk. It's called spherification, and you can do it with any liquid you want. So technically, with these two things, you'll get a little sphere, which will serve as your yolk. So those are the two superstars of this equation. The rest of it is to try to make it taste as close to an egg yolk as humanly possible. But it could not be done without sodium alginate and calcium lactate. Now we're gonna cover up this mixture and we're going to refrigerate it for about an hour. You can also refrigerate it overnight. Basically, you just want to let all the air bubbles that are in here pop and come out so we don't have any air bubbles for the next step. It's very exciting stuff. I'm gonna go refrigerate this and then we can make the magic happen. Okay, so here is our yolk mixture already prepared ahead of time. It looks like that, so it solidified a bit in the fridge. So all I'm gonna do is take a tablespoon and essentially just fill this silicone mold. These are gonna be our little yolk shapes. All right, so these are done. Now I'm just going to pop these in the freezer for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm excited, but I'm gonna be careful and excited. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, please do not smell. Okay, so here we are. We have these cute little yolks frozen. They were in there for about 45 minutes. And I'm gonna do this really quickly because I don't want them to thaw. Basically, I'm gonna pop them out of this little mold here directly into our sodium alginate solution and then just fully coat them. Now, we don't wanna let these touch because if they touch, they're gonna stick together. We wanna make sure these are completely coated, but these just will stay in here for about one to two minutes. So I'll be right back. I'm so nervous right now because this is not the kind of recipe you just go back and like fix a couple things. It's a process. We're gonna take out our yolks. We're gonna drop them in this like lukewarm water to rinse them off. And then it's time to test them. I'm praying this is gonna hold some semblance of a shape, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. <gasps> oh God. That looks like a egg yolk, look at that. Oh my God, my face is getting red, I can feel it. Okay, I'm gonna stop freaking out, put it in the water. Whoa, okay, so at least one of them is really cool. All right, let me just take you out. Wow, this is insane. So I put it in this lukewarm water because you do also want it to be able to thaw a little bit so that it does in fact run when you break it. It's so cool. I've got my yolks at the ready and it's time for me to try this. Let's taste test this, but more importantly, let's see if it's a runny egg yolk, right? That's why we all showed up here today. It may be pretty, it may be the right color. It might be really cute, but is the yolk runny? Let's try it, let's see what happens. That's why we're all here. It's almost impenetrable. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! Look at it, it's running. It's not super liquidy, but it's still running. It's running, it's running, it's running away. Look, 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 look. All right, we got it to ooze. I'm very pleased with this. Let's see how it tastes. Whoa, okay, I haven't had an egg in a really long time. It's almost like hollandaise sauce that's been injected into an egg yolk. It's got like a little, almost a lemony flavor, but the acidity is from the tomato. This is delicious. I've had the one at Crossroads. This is comparable. Wow, okay, I'm super pumped. I'm gonna go invite everybody in. Let's see what they think. Wow, I can't breathe. This is strong aroma. <gasps> of what? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> It smells like an attic a little bit. An attic? It does, it smells a little, I like, got a little abest, a hint of abestos. <laughs> this is best, abestos, how do you say that word? It smells real eggy in here, so I will say that is a success. I smell the scent of a woman. Okay, well I hope I don't smell like what this room does smell like, but I'm just gonna dive into this with you because this is very exciting. Yeah! Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's just a yolk. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's an egg yolk. What the f is going on right now? Is that a real egg? <laughs> Merle, <laughs> what have you done? Cool, 
cute. Full disclosure, I don't love runny eggs. I think they're gross. Wow. What's it doing? It kind of even smells like an egg. Am I supposed to eat this? Oh yeah. Wait, I'm scared. It's wow. actually really scary accurate. I'm seeing the yolk run out of this like it's an egg. Like I'm seeing it pour out. It's got a good drip. <laughs> it passed the splat test. Oh my God. In a good way? <laughs> you don't want to eat it, do you? I, don't. <laughs> I can tell. It's tangy. I have a taste bite, right? Really? Yeah. <laughs> you nailed it. Um, Yay! <laughs> I don't love it. I'm sorry. It's a little sour. It's good. It has like tomato. It's very savory, like a uh, pasta sauce. I was gonna say like horseradish. I would have guessed like some sort of uh, grainy mixture. Baby food. No. <laughs> Is it tomato? Yeah. No, go. You already know, you already know Arya gonna get it. He gonna get in here for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I smell the scent of a woman. Are you gonna say some wild shit first? Ah, bonjour. Ah, they fucking tomato. Tomato. It is tomato. <laughs> he's gonna. You think he's gonna get it? That was really good. That's goddamn right. Gross. You don't like tomatoes? I hate tomatoes. Okay. The flavor was good. It was just surprising. Yeah, it's like a little bit more acidic than an egg. The egg has more of like a subtle taste to it. This was just like flavor. That's kind of like mind-boggling, truly. Like, it doesn't taste exactly like an egg, but like the way that yolk came out of there actually freaked me out for a second. <laughs> ten out of ten. A what? Ten out of ten? Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah, I'm not <laughs> with you. Can be though if you want me to. No, Arya, please. That's too much. <laughs> oh, I'd say it's a ten. This has to be an eight point five. A seven point five. Zero. Nothing like an egg. Nothing like an egg. Yay! Oh, no. oh I'm so glad you like it. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can cut. <laughs> no, 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 Arya, please. I'm John Cena. <laughs> Does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, thank you for the cut. 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 That was good, thank you. It's good, right? Yeah, it was very good, very impressive. Yummy. Yeah. What does John Cena have to do with anything?